What's going on guys? It's your boy Tankro and welcome back to another episode out here on the Afterlife server. And we are starting this episode off right over here at the shop that we built last episode. And if you remember, we moved all the rockets and all the enchanting books over here and, and there. We also managed to build the iron farm with Puff, right? So this is what you're seeing over here, the three stacks for one diamond. And of course, we went ancient debris mining, right? So we are now selling ancient debris over here. So all looking pretty good, if I may say so myself. However, you might notice that we have some interesting new stuff over here, right? So notably, we have this, um, um, I don't know, shelf? Is that is that a shelf? We have this rack of stuff over here, right? So there's nothing on here anymore. Ideally, we would put chests and then we could sell something, but to be honest, guys, I have no idea what we could be selling right there, um, but that's okay. And if you're wondering, the chests have uh, they have nothing inside them. They're just decorative chests, and, and that's okay. Um, but yeah, so check it out. These are like these uh, shipping crates, right? These are a little design I came up with, and I have to say, they're looking pretty good, man. Look how good they look. I'm very proud of them. And of course, we have these like satellite dish designs, which we used when we were making our rocket shop, right? So they look pretty fancy. They look pretty fancy, pretty fancy. We have like a big one and then we have like two small ones over there. So yeah, all in all, looking pretty good. Now, I have a few plans for this episode, right amigo? Yes, we're going to be very busy this episode. Um, I want to do number one, fight the wither. If you guys remember, we were meant to fight the wither when we fought the ender dragon, but the data pack we used made it absolute hell and the wither would not have helped at all. And the second thing I want to do, yes, yes, you make sure you're keeping the store safe and sound, is um, work on this area, right? So we have this large area over here and I think it would be perfect if we started selling some wool, right? So we already have a wool farm set up though, right now it's only for gray wool, but if we got some colors in there, I think we could start selling wool right over here. And then that would really tie off this area off. Um, obviously, there are still some blank areas that we need to work on, but, but that's okay. That's okay. So why don't I try to set up a little tunnel ready for the wither and then, and then, well, I guess we can fight it, right? So let me get to that. Okie dokie. So we are back at our submarine starter base and I'm just like setting up everything. I think we have everything we might need. We have two totems of undying. Maybe we should take more. Here we go. We'll take more. And um, we have our sword, which is actually pretty good. I'm, I don't think there's anything missing. Oh, right. Sharpness five. That's what's missing. Um, but that's okay. And then the real issue, we only have 11 arrows, which is a teeny with bit of a problem. But um, well, we'll see how it goes. We're going to fight the wither in my mine, which I've set up, which is uh, yonder over there. So we just have to travel to it. And yeah, I mean, I think it should be fine. This is going to be the first wither fought on the server, which means we're also going to get the first beacon on the server. So that is, that's pretty exciting, I guess. I mean, you know, first of everything is always kind of exciting. So we'll see how that goes. Now, I know that my friend the Puff, right, he wanted us to place the beacon by his base because apparently he's going to be building a big hole or or something of that sort. So he, he asked us if we could kindly put it by his base once we actually do get the beacon. But um, we'll have to see how that goes. Now, let's just travel all the way down here. The worst thing that could really happen is that, like, the wither spawns and then like it starts breaking stuff and we like find a lava pool or something that would be really bad if that happened but um but yeah we'll see how it goes let's just set our spawn uh we don't need these blocks do we and um yeah i mean i, I guess we're pretty much ready to go now where did i put it there it is okay so soul sand weather skull oh let's take the apples too actually yeah that's a good idea does tnt help I don't think so. We're just gonna leave it. Um, let's put that in here. Oh boy, I'm scared. Here we go. Soul sand. The apple. There's that. Oh man. 
Oh gosh, I don't know if I'm ready for this. Well, here we go, guys. Oh man. Oh man. How far away should we be? All right, and there we go. Okay, this is pretty easy. This, this is going quite well. Oh, I lost him. Oh, he's right there. Got us. Oh man, this is a lot scarier than I thought it would be. All right, that was our last arrow. Here we go, let's just not die. Oh gosh, he's really really making those damage all right we're almost there boys we're almost there let's just heal up oh jeez. there we go a few more hits one more hit last one there we go Whew. we're still taking damage all right but yeah that was um that was much easier than i thought it would be actually let's just pick all this stuff oh diamond Happy days. All right, let's just, um, no, we only got one torch. We should have probably brought more with us, but that's okay. Yeah, so we're down to two and a half hearts. That's that's a little bit scary, but that's fine, that's fine. Um, yeah, diamonds, let's go. How many? Five, okay, not too bad, not too shabby. And uh, yeah, just like that. We should be able to craft a beacon now because we definitely have glass and we definitely have obsidian so i'm gonna go back to the to the submarine starter base and uh we can craft that then yar and there we have it guys i then noticed that we actually got a wither's head i wonder if we can reuse it again or if it's just like a um a cosmetic head like all of like all of these ones um but yeah okay so our nether star is over here Let's get out some glass. Uh, I don't know how much we'll need. And some obsidian. Uh, right here. All right, all right, all right. Let's see. OMG, we got it. Beacon. Boom, boom, boom. There we go. And now the best part about all of this is that since Puff and I made an iron farm, we now have the blocks for a beacon too, which is phenomenal. That's perfect exactly what we needed because um yeah i mean i guess we have a fair bit of resources but dang uh we definitely don't have enough so okay we have this i believe puff is afk at the iron farm at the moment so let's just grab some blocks and uh and well i i think I'm, i might just have to go mining okay so we are at the iron farm right over here and here is mr puffin fish hq afk for us and let's see what he has on him oh diamond sword credence weed eater okay silk one <laughs> i'm assuming whenever he loses it he'll add a number pants exclamation mark footprint printers okay upside down bowl nice and oh he looks like he needs some rockets buddy there you go okay we're gonna steal some iron from our little farm. Is it here? Nope, is it here? Yeah. How many stacks do we need for a beacon? Uh, let's take four, that should be enough. Now, the farm should be, let's, let's put our helmet back on. Okay, yeah, I'm assuming this is what Puff wants us to clear out. I'm not 100% sure though. Okay, yeah, so this is definitely where he wants us to put it. Um, now, where's the absolute center, though? Did he mark it? I don't think he did. We might just have to dig straight down and, and see how it goes. Um, okay, yeah, I, I'm gonna do that, guys, and um, wish me luck. Hope I don't fall into lava. Okie dokie, so I have just broken into the surface, and um, this is the 
hole we used to get down and um, this is the hole where our beacon is actually going to be. And if you're wondering why we didn't do it in the same hole, then you're gonna get your answer real quick, all right? So if we open this up, yep, there's lava. So that's a big no from me. Mm -mm, no, no, Tink does not deal with lava. You know what Tink does deal with though? He does deal with a beacon. So let's bring home the bacon. And this has efficiency five, right? Yeah, woohoo. Goal reached, beaconator, advancement made. So then we just gotta put in some iron, like so. Some haste, haste two. And we should have instamine, hell yeah. Woo, this is an instamine though. Alrighty, well, I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna stay here for a while and um, I'll catch you guys later. Tink is going to be mining for a little while now. Ha ha, check it out guys. We have gone beacon mining, except for these pesky blocks over here, but the rest is insta mine, which is perfect. And uh, yeah, you've already probably seen my hotbar and I'll check it out. These are all the ores that we have gotten. Now things like coal and iron, since we have an iron farm and we have a wool farm for burning, we probably won't mind, but things like redstone and copper and gold and all this beautiful stuff, we are definitely going to mine, especially all this diamond ore. It is bizarre just how much diamond ore you can get at Y level um, five and six instead of um, 11 and 12. So really phenomenal stuff. I have to say I'm super duper happy. And yeah, I mean, I guess the only thing left to do is actually mine it, but um, I do want to get started with our wool farm, right? So I'm gonna organize myself a little bit and whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> and I'll be back guys, I'll be back. Okay, so we're gonna move on to our next project briefly, but I just wanted to show you guys how it actually looks to mine all of those ores. And I mean, just keep in mind there's like three blocks high right on either end over here, but yeah, I mean, look at this. It's like as long as a freaking school bus, dude. It's huge. Um, okay, so I'm just gonna mine all of this and I'm just gonna speed up by however many value and then we can check out just what I get in the end. And something tells me it's gonna be really interesting to find out. So let's do that now. Okie dokie guys, and there we go, end of our little, is that a time lapse? I don't know if that's really called a time lapse, but um, yeah, check that out. I mean, this over here is already like just two stacks of uh, redstone, redstone blocks, right? We got a ton of gold, more than enough lapis, a whole bunch of copper, which I still don't really know where we could use it. And diamonds, woohoo, happy days, happy days. Um, so yeah, I mean, that's what basically like an hour, an hour and a half-ish of um, beacon mining in 1.17 looks like. So yeah, now for real, we can move on to our next project. Okay, so we are out here by our creeper farm. As you can see the creepers fall and, and die over there. There's another one. Um, yeah, I've started building the foundation of our wool farm, right? And if you're wondering why we're building it here, it's so that well, we only have to AFK at one place to get all our all our beautiful farm rewards, right? Um, but there is another reason, right? So I want to think of this as a bit of a challenge, right? So we are out here at the coastal jungle, right? It's absolutely beautiful area. And I see this as a challenge for us to beat, right? And what do I mean by a challenge? Well, I have a pretty clear vision of what I want our mega base to look like this season, right? So the submarine off in that direction looks cool, but it is no mega base by any standards, right? So since we are the deep sea mining corporation, what I have in mind is like this huge oil rig, right? That like expands all the way from the ocean floor and expands all the way up to here at the minimum, right? I think that would be really, really cool. And in fact, I have a quite, 
And in fact, I have quite a few different ideas, right? So I'm gonna try to go for this like cyberpunky kind of post-apocalyptic world. Like, I guess the lore would be, imagine if there was some like giant cataclysmic event in the world and this oil rig was like where a whole bunch of different humans managed to survive together. And then it thrived from this like danky old oil rig into this like huge metropolis, very cyberpunk, very, very post-apocalyptic in style. I think that would be really cool if we were to be able to pull that off. In fact, one of my inspirations for what I want to build is the movie, The Mortal Engines, right? The city of London and just how cool that looks, right? So I feel like if we can create something similar to that, but instead of a moving city, an oil rig, I think we would be gold this season. So yeah, I guess, um, I guess that is my plan reveals for this season, right? Very ambitious, but again, I have a clear mind and I think we can definitely do it if we put the work and effort into it. But first of all, baby steps, right? We have to start somewhere. And the first thing we have to do is, well, build the wool farm, right? And then, well, I didn't actually think about this, but we're going to have to travel with sheep all the way from our base, which is currently just off render distance that way. And then either boat them or rail cart them all the way up here. Hmm. That is a bit of a logistical problem that I didn't think about, but I'm sure we can figure it out. With great determination, nothing is impossible. So yeah, I'm going to continue to do this little wool farm. What I have in mind is kind of like a rail cart that just goes around in circles, collecting wool from the sheep that would be like, like right over here above me where I am right now. And um, yeah, I think that would be pretty cool. So I'm going to try to do that and I'll be back. Alrighty guys, and there we have it. Farm is um, pretty much complete, right? So we essentially have four of these pods where I'm planning on putting um, two sheep each. So we have four times four, so for all 16 colors. I think that should produce more than enough wool. And I was planning on having like a rotating conveyor belt of grass over here with like pistons and observers, but I thought, you know what? Why complicate our lives when we can just have this simple mechanism? Because I mean, in the end, wool farms are already just so ridiculously efficient just due to how often uh, sheep eat grass, right? So, oh, whoops, we just turned into a sheep. Um, but yeah, there is one more thing I'd like to show you guys, which is down over here. So similar to our sugarcane farm, I wanted to kind of make it toggleable, right? So you could turn it on or off. And that's exactly what we have over here, right? So there's only one observer that will measure only one pod to see whether sheep eat, right? And we'll take this as like the mean average of all the other sheep, right? So that's how the mechanism's gonna work. And that allows us to have one singular input for all the outputs. And that means we can control it on or off over here. So right now it's off. So even though it might detect a signal that the grass was eaten, none of these different dispensers over here would fire, right? So that's kind of how it works. So I think that's pretty good. Now, I think um, this episode has gone on for quite a long time now. So I think that is actually where we're going to end the episode for today. In the meantime, I'm going to go ahead and just craft some shears. Now that we have an iron farm, that really isn't a problem. But I will try to um, gather some sheep and start putting them in this pod and and get all the dye and all that. So that should be, well, I'm not gonna say it should be exciting, but it will definitely be some hard work and um, I'm looking forward to it. Should be fulfilling once we have all this set up and we can start selling it in our shop. But unfortunately guys, I think that's gonna be where we call it an episode for today. If you enjoyed, make sure to give the video a like and subscribe to see more videos just like this one. A reminder that we do have an Afterlife Discord where you can chat with me or the other Afterlife members, if you so please. So if that interests you, make sure to click the link in the description to join that server. But until next time, guys, thank you all very much for watching and keep on building.